In this video, I'm going to show you how you can track people and hours for a job with barcodes in Excel. In that, I have this, I have created this similar sheet, but without the usernames on here. And people have requested that I put the usernames on to track who is doing this work. So in this sheet already, I have Joe, and he's working on job two 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 two, and um, this is when he started. Now, if Joe comes and he forgets to sign out of that one, so I'm going to type Joe in here again, and pressing enter, then it's gone to the next one, and let's say that he's going on um, 3333. And so, it finishes off uh, 2222, it opens a new job, the same time, it's the same time frame between the end of this one and the start of the end one. And then we have another sheet made and it's saying for this job 2222, Joe has spent uh, this amount of time. Okay, so let's go back and let's put Barb in. And let's say that Barb, um, pressing enter and we go to the next one. Barb is, has to do some work on 2222. Okay, and um, then Joe comes back and finishes 3333. So let's, let's put Joe in here. And let's put 3333 in here. And then he's got a new sheet called 3333. Barb is now finished with 2222. Pressing enter. And now if you go to the sheet 2222, you can see that Barb's hours have been added in here as well. So now let me show you the code. The first thing I would like to show you is um, for the tracking sheet, you go view code. And what I've done is I'm saying that um, I am saying that if any if the, the name is entered in, in B2, then we call them a program called move over, which is just selecting C2. And then if C2 is selected, then you're going to call a program called track. So now let me go through track. Now, track is basically um, going through the barcodes, and what it's looking for, first of all, is it's looking for the name. So it, it's, it says up here, if uh, scan in name is nothing, then exit sub, and that just keeps you from having a loop forever when it goes empty at the end. And if the job number is not blank, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the name on in the first column here, and if there's nothing in there, if the name isn't there, then it's going to go, it's going to put the name in the first, it's going to find the first blank one, and it's going to go <clears throat> put the name in the first cell, and then it's going to put the job number in the second in the second cell, and then it's going to put the date and time. Now, if it does find it, then what it's going to do, it's going to record the row that it found it finds it in and then R is equal to the first row the first time it finds it. Now it's going to go from the first row to the last row of the data and it's looking for uh, active cell the value equals the name so it's looking for the name and then it's looking for a blank end time. Now when it finds it then it's going to put in the date and time it's going to calculate the difference between the in time and the out time, and this is all the commands to get it in there, and that equals total. Now, uh, so what it's doing is it's calling now, when you're getting the total in there, is it's co calling, um, it's calling total hours, which we'll go through in a minute, and it's taking with it the job name, the, the uh, 
scanning name and the total hours. Now if the job name, which is the number that you scanned in, the scanning job, is not equal to the job name, then we're going to go to restart. So we're going to start again here. And, and then uh, and when it's done there, it's going to go to ND, or else if it is the same, it's going to go to ND, which is at the end. And then we're just clearing the values. So with the total hours, what we're doing is we're bringing in the job number, the scan in name, and the total hours. If, uh, if there is a sheet named job name, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to go to already. If not, what it's going to do is it's going to create it and then it's going to put the name and it's going to put uh, the scanning name underneath it and it's going to put the time and it's going to put the total time. And of course the job name is the total title of the, of the worksheet. So I will of course include all the code that I can fit in my description of my video. Please subscribe.